In this video, we have a couple of scenarios that represent exponential relationships between two different variables. We're going to come up with some equations and check out the rate of change. In this example, we're given a new job. We're getting paid $8 an hour with a 5% raise each year. We want to come up with some sort of expression that would give us our hourly rate after six years. So if we want to figure out what 5% of $8 is, we're going to take $8 and then multiply it by 0 0.05 because that's the decimal version of 5%. So if we go ahead and, and do this multiplication, we're going to get 0 0.04. That means that 5% of $8 is going to be 4 cents. But that's not what we're looking for. We want to figure out what the new hourly rate would be. So after the first year, we want to actually add this 4 cents to $8. So we're going to get $8.04. That's the number that we want. But how do we change our equation right here, our expression, so that we get $8.04 instead of just 4 cents? Well, the difference between this number and this number is that $8. So how we could change this number here so that we take this $8 as well is add 100% to it. So imagine if we wanted 105% of $8. Well, just like if we took 5% um, and then move our decimal over here twice so that we get 0 0.05, well, 105% then written as a decimal would be moving our decimal over twice and it would be 1.05. So if we take $8 and multiply by 1.05, that's going to be 105% of $8, and that's going to give us our $8.04. So by adding a 1 there, it, it brings along that $8 with us. So um, that's that. Our next step would be to build on to what we have. So if we take $8 and multiply it by 1.05, we would get our new hourly rate after one year. But on our question, we want it after six years. So we want to apply 1.05 to 8 six times. So then we would make our exponent up here 6. So then we take 1.05, raise it to the sixth power, and then that number would be multiplied by 8, and that would give us our new um, pay rate after six years. If you're going to calculate that number, that would be um, about $10.72. That would be um, our new pay rate after six years of a 5% increase each year. In this problem, we have a brand new car, and we bought it with the intentions of selling it. And this expression right here represents the value after a few years. And the question is asking us, does the value increase or decrease based on this expression? Well, let's refer to the uh, expression that we used in our last problem. And it looks like this expression is written in the same form. So we started off with an hourly rate of $8. So then it looks like our car probably started off with an initial value of $15,500. And then our exponent represented uh, how many years. And it looks like if we were going to sell it after a few years, that 3 right there is the exponent represents the years of ownership. That leaves us with our base of the exponent right here, which was 0 0.92. So is that going to represent an increase or a decrease? Well, if we refer back to our equation here, um, we added this 1 along with that 5% to make sure that we get that 8 in our final value. Well, if we have less than 1, then I doubt that it would be um, 15,500 anymore. It's going to go lower. This would actually be giving us 92% of this. It wouldn't give us that whole 100%. So if we take 15,500, multiply it by 0.92, that would be like if we wanted 92% of this value right here. That would be 14,260. So it looks like we have a decrease in value. Now we want to figure out, well, how much did that decrease? What would be the rate of change? Well, if we wanted 100% of 15,500, we would have multiplied it by 1. But we have 0.92. So what's the difference between 1 and 0.92? Well, 1 minus 0 0.92 is going to give us 0 0.08. And that's per the percentage that we took off. So if we convert 0 0.08 to a percentage, we're left with 8%. 
So it looks like our rate of change would be 8%. So now what would I have to do to this expression to make our value change in the opposite direction? Well, back to this number right here, the base. Um, in my previous example, when we were working with the hourly rate, we multiplied it by 1.05. Using that 1, we would grow. So we want to change this um, so that we have a number bigger than 1. So if we are decreasing by 8% and, and instead we want to have our value increase by 8%, you would change our base number right here to be 1.08. And that would take 108% of our initial value, which was that 15,500. So then the new expression would be 15,500. And we're going to multiply that by 1.08. So that number has to be greater than 1. And then we're raising it again to the third power to represent after three years. So hopefully working through some of those examples, you kind of get a better idea of how exponential equations work when you apply it to a context. The beginning number is your initial value. That base number is going to be the rate of change, or it's going to show you what that rate of change is. If it's higher than 1, it's going to be increasing. If it's less than 1, it's decreasing. And then the exponent would represent time.